Drill Sergeant here. What's going on guys? Today in this video, we're actually a new location. We're at Barbecue Outfitters in San Antonio. Today we're going to be using the Yoder YS640. Currently we have it on running at 220 just to get that smoke going. For pellets, I'm using Traeger's Meat Church Blend and it is a mixture of hickory and post oak. This is Thor's hammer, also known as French beef shank. As far as seasonings go, I am going to be using Suckle Busters. This is their new SPG hot. And then for some color, we are gonna be using Pit Boss's Blackened Saskatchewan, Sask, Sask, I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's give a nice color to it. Let's cut this bad boy open. Ugh. Let's pull this bad boy out. Mm. Assistant, thank you. For <laughs> I'm just going to pat this down a little bit. Look at this beauty. This is a big hunk of beautiful beef right here. So today's game plan is to get it to where it's just fall apart, shreddable. I'm going to be making a sandwich. So we're going to start off low and slow, and then we're actually going to ramp it up hot and fast. And hopefully in about four to six hours, I'm gonna be eating good, that's for sure. I'm not gonna do any trimming to this. I'm just gonna see, run it as is. Let's start off first with the Suckle Busters. Woo, there we go. Making sure we're coating all sides and the bottom. Wow, good Lord. <coughs> Does your barbecue rub make you cough and sneeze? If not, you're using the wrong stuff. That will put some hair on your chest. All right, now that we got that heavily coated in that SPG hot, now introduce this Pit Boss rub. And this is gonna help introduce a color to it. And that's kind of what I'm after. Just want that nice bark texture to it. Coat it all sides. I just want this thing heavily coated. I'm going to actually wrap the bone. That's what she said. So we're gonna wrap this bone up. And that's going to help for presentation. It's basically going to keep that bone nice and white. We're going to let this rest for about 5-10 minutes. Let the seasoning penetrate. Oh, God. All right, so we're going to let the seasoning soak into this meat, and we'll tune back in about 20 minutes and then throw it on the smoker. Let's get her on. Ooh. All right, I'm just going to place her right down here. Whoop. And now we'll let her bathe in smoke for about an hour. After that, we'll come check on the color and then turn the temperature up a little bit. And then once it hits about 170, we're gonna wrap it completely in foil, then crank the temperature up. And the end temperature will be about 205, 206. All right, so we'll tune back in an hour. All right, it's been about an hour. Let's go check on the color. Woo! Not too shabby. I'm gonna run a probe in right now so we can keep an eye on that temp. All right, this is the home stretch. Mm, can't wait. Been about three hours. We're looking at 160. Let's go check out this cut of meat. Woo! Man, that Thor's hammer is looking really nice and tender. All right, let's get it wrapped up. All right. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, man. Now I am going to take some of this bone broth and we're just going to pour a little in. That's going to help with the steaming action in here. Just pour a little. I don't want to use all of it, but in about a quarter cup. And we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to put this right back in here. I'm going to get my probe. <sighs> And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smoker and turn up the temperature. All right, I brought the temperature up on the smoker. So hopefully in about an hour, we'll be digging in. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, she hit 207. Let's pull her off right now. Woo! Good Lord. Now we're going to let her rest for about an hour or two, and then we'll carve in. Woo! Many unbearable hours later. All right, guys, time to dig in. I cannot wait. Oh, baby. Look at that steamy goodness right there. Oh, man. That is looking good. All right, let's take our little hat off. Woo! 
Man, it's literally bubbling inside that bone marrow. Well, I don't know about you, but let's carve in. All right, I got some brioche buns right here. And we got everyone's favorite uncle, Uncle Steve. He has a barbecue sauce called the sauce with no name. We're just gonna rip in here. Literally just rip a chunk off. Woo! Oh, the smell on this thing is just amazing right now. We're just gonna just come in here and just shred it apart for our burger. Mm -mm -mm. No knives needed on this one, that's for sure. Meat down. Now I'm gonna take our friend Uncle Steve Drizzle this on top. Mm, mm, mm. Now for color, a little splash of cabbage in here, doesn't hurt. And we're gonna do something a little bit crazy. Never been done before. We're gonna take the liquid that's in this bone right now and literally drizzle it on our burger. Look at that, man. Woo! Oh, come on, man. My favorite part. Oh, and that's the cool thing about those really, really long cooks is it's just that much more rewarding at the end. All right, let's go in here and get the job done. I can't wait. Mm. That Suckle Busters SPG with the hot in there has a little spice kick to it. Really, really good. If you want, check out Porter Road. You can also try out one of these if you want. Mmm, so, so good. Thank you guys for watching, all right? I'm gonna finish the rest of this. See you.